Well, you know, it's a sad time in America when the flag's flown upside down, <clears throat> which is a sign of uh, distress and threat to life and property. And that is exactly what has happened by the weaponization of our justice system. And, you know, that's some third world shit. Haiti, Cuba, Venezuela, all the other countries that have done that, jail their... Uh, political opponents and whatnot. It's just straight up tyranny and communism. And everyone with a brain and actually uses it and doesn't sh sit on their shoulders with their head up their ass, you know, know what the fuck's going on. So, but again, on a, on a nice, uh, happy note is what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And <clears throat> I'm pure Alaskan, born and raised. I'm also Cherokee Indian. Uh, I have my grandfathers that came from Czechoslovakia, the escaped World War II, uh, Ireland, um, World War One. Yeah, so I do have Irish and Czechoslovakian in me from um, my mom's dad's side, which is my grandpa Sullivan. And my uh, Sedevi side, which is, uh, they, they came from Boise, Idaho, but they came from Czechoslovakia. So on my dad's side, um, third generation Czechoslovakian in this country. But I was born here, raised here in Alaska, and native uh, Indian values, um, part of the Atna tribe. Um, part of tribes here on the Kenai Peninsula with uh, Kanazi, Denana, Salmantov, um, Siri. Yeah, and uh, a lot of my family members on my mom's side too were, but they're all Southeast Alaskan, um, Kluklon and, and Clinkett and Haida. And, yep, yeah, just a damn shame what's going on it's it, I, I still believe in the constitutional republic you know there there's no democracy mentioned in the constitution of the united states of america or the declaration of independence or the bill of rights it never has been it's that there's no democracy that's mentioned in our pledge to american flag it's for the republic we are a constitutional republic that is not lost, but this is definitely an interesting time to be alive and I'm just really glad that my grandparents aren't here that went through World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, Korea and came out alive and they are with every branch of our military along with the training that I've had and uh people and friends that I lost in Desert Storm and Iraq Wars and uh, yeah it's just a damn shame Afghanistan my brother's friends Afghanistan losing limbs losing their lives yeah corporate uh, corporation of America is what it has become and and it's been that way for a long time <clears throat> I think it was about 1871 or so you know, Democrat, demon rats started their little democracy bullshit, weaponizing, uh, getting uh, the federal government established. Uh, 1913 was uh, just, you know, everything's just been a slow go until Trump started running for president in 2015. And that's when all hell broke loose and these monsters and these global elites and these fuckers went full on dot com yeah all this turning out it was a slow purge for past 40 years easily uh it's been going on before then especially with the mk ultra project blue beam you know uh manipulation of our weather in the 1950s the heart project which up there in uh kokona um out that just only 40 minutes, 30 minutes from where I grew up on a creek is where that heart project's at. And, yeah, 
you know, Jesse Ventura tries to expose it on his conspiracy theories uh, show that, like I've said in past videos, as like even back then when he was doing that shows, yeah, give it sen seven to ten episodes, he'll get shut the fuck down, and that's exactly what the system did. It's a weaponized police state, America, and the only way they come out of this is not just only by voting in November, you know. There's going to be a lot of people voting for Donald Trump. I don't vote because it's not my government. But something's got to change and it's up to the people. You know, it starts off in the Constitution. We the people. For the people. By the people. And our government has been weaponized against us because of everyone being asleep or just bending the knee because they might have to sacrifice something and they're not willing to and I think that is some weak sauce you stand on your feet like I tell everyone and always believed in this too is I will never die on my knees I will die on my feet and I will die on that hill for something that's right something for my grandkids and their kids and their grandchildren because it's going to take 10, 20 years from now before it, something's rebooted unless we go straight up. The, <clears throat> the Civil War back in the 1800s under Lincoln and stuff, that was just to free slaves. What do you think this is? Everyone's a slave. It has no color, no skin color attachments to it. That's all propaganda and gaslighting, and the narrative is sickening. None of that skin color bullshit matters. You're all humans of the same race. Don't believe and be so weak-minded to, to just go out there and be hateful towards your fellow Americans, towards your fellow people. You know, the ones like us that put the roofs on your schools, put the roofs on your, your hospitals, do the farming, do the ranching actually get dirt under our fingernails so you little keyboard warriors out there can be a bunch of little fuck-offs bitch about generation x fuck you pussies fuck you pansies karma is a real fucking thing and it will come so stay strapped and dangerous stay salty stay vigilant not calling anyone the violence but it's gonna have to be a it is gonna be a different uh it's already a different civil war and the only way you get a fucking house built is with a fucking hammer physically so let's rebuild this house let's remodel this motherfucker fuck these democrats fuck these libertarians fuck these independents and fuck the republicans this is a constitutional republic for which it stands, one nation under God, with liberty and justice for all. This is your salty Alaskan Rambo out.